A few moments later. Hey everyone, so uh, I managed to downgrade my tablet from Lollipop of uh, 5.1.1 to KitKat, which is 4.4.4. Um, I just today I just wanted to show you guys like some of the apps that you can still use on KitKat uh, Basically like whether it would be a viable option for you to downgrade your Nexus 7 to KitKat um, Show you guys some of the apps that can still be used and like also compare the RAM usage and stuff like that So if I went in so if I go into settings go down to about tablet uh, as you guys can see, my Android version is 4.4.4. Um, so yeah, uh, if we just tap on that, it will give us like the Easter egg. That's for KitKat. As you can see, it's kind of like styled as the KitKat branding. And I believe if you hold and tap like what I just did, you can get like this kind of like interactive, like, I don't know, wallpaper, I guess. But yeah pretty cool I guess I actually didn't know about this up until recently um so if I went into apps I can also show you guys like the RAM usage right now um I, I figure that'll be like an interesting comparison to see its performance so as you guys can see I hope the camera's picking that up but if not I'll hold it up so right now we're using around 631 megabytes with around 343 megabytes free so that's kind of interesting because if I remember correctly Lollipop actually was using less RAM so I'm not too sure why that is um, if I stop Instagram because I don't think I had Instagram when I was on Lollipop uh, the, the number drops down to like 600 megabytes currently being used and like these apps, like they're they're pretty much the essential ones. Like, they're they're the ones that you you can't really stop. You can't really go any further. So yeah, around six hundred megabytes being used. Um, kind of weird because I thought I thought uh, KitKat would end up using less RAM. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. But it's it's not really indicative of the performance that it has because I think KitKat for the most part definitely performs pretty smoothly. Um. And I think it would be a lot better at multitasking. I feel like that's where Lollipop really struggled. Is when you try to run multiple apps at once, it really started to slow down. So I'm in my Play Store right now. Uh, I wanted to show you guys what kind of apps you can still use on KitKat. So if you guys are thinking of downgrading to KitKat, uh, you guys might want to first know what kind of apps you can and can't use. So if I went into my apps and games, go into library, Uh, yeah, as you guys can see, like I'll just name off some of the notable ones. So Microsoft Edge, you can still use that. You can't use Discord or Zoom, unfortunately, so just be cautious of that if you're thinking of downgrading. Uh, you can still use Snapchat. Um, you can't use Google Go. Uh, you can still use Google Maps Go. You can use Messenger Lite. Um, you can still use the main app of Spotify. You can't use VS Go. Um, you can't use Reddit, unfortunately. You can still use Steam. You can still use Wikipedia. You can't use Kijiji, unfortunately. You can still use Skype. You can still use Facebook, the regular Messenger app. I think the one before was Messenger Lite, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Messenger Lite. So Messenger and Messenger Lite both work for KitKat. Um, if we keep on scrolling here, you can't use a PlayStation app. You can't you can't use Google Slides, Sheets, or Docs. So I'm assuming uh, if you wanted to view them, you can still use Google Drive, which I have here. But you probably just can't edit them, which is what the individual uh, individual apps are for. Uh, if we kept on going here. Just some of my games that I used to play. Um, and you can't use Firefox, unfortunately. 
But I mean, at least you still have battle bears, so, you know, there's that, at least. Um, yeah, so pretty much, I would say, for the most part, uh, performance-wise, it's definitely still usable. Like, things like, oh, wait, sorry. Um, I just remembered. Also wanted to show you guys Netflix as well. Like, I, I personally don't use Netflix, but I figured some of you guys do. And... I want to show you guys if it still works. So, as you can see, um, there's the install button right there, so it definitely still works. Um, uh, TikTok, I guess, if you guys want that. It still works on KitKat, so that's cool. Um, yeah, because that's a pretty long leg. Oh, something like WhatsApp still works. Yeah, so there's the install button, although it says it may not be optimized. At least it's better than, you know, not, not being able to be downloaded. I don't know why that back button didn't work. Um, like, skip the dishes, I guess, if, if you guys want that. That still works. Um, maybe stuff like Audible, that still works. Yeah, so honestly, for the most part, like, the big apps, uh, they'll, they'll most likely still be compatible with KitKat. Although, I will say, um, like, some of the apps, they stop getting support for Chrome. And, uh, some other ones. Like, for example, um... If I showed you guys, like, the Google Chrome that I have right now, um, like, so for this one, right, uh, Google Chrome, if we went into its version right now, like, as you can see, it's on 81, and it was last, last updated on May 5th, 2020, so if I were to... Show you guys. So after doing a quick Google search, um, right now I'm on this website. It's basically it basically tells you like the latest version of Chrome that you use, and if we look Chrome on Android, right, it its latest version is version 88, and with the with the release date of February. 17th of this year right but then if i go over to my device running kitkat it's on version 81 last updated may 5th of 2020 and there's no update button right uninstall open there's no update button so pretty much google has stopped uh the update support for google chrome for uh kitkat i guess so yeah, you, you pretty much won't have like updates to these popular apps anymore, but you can still use them though. So that's good. Um, as for the performance of the tablet, I really just use this to watch YouTube and that's it. And honestly, performance is definitely usable. You know, like I would say, I would say obviously it's not the fastest, right? And CPU definitely like degrades over time, but, um, if you're having like lots of trouble with Lollipop on your Nexus 7 right now, I highly recommend you maybe even downgrading to Jelly Bean because Lollipop still feels a bit slow at times. Sorry, I mean, um, I mean, KitKat still feels a bit slow at times, but um, honestly, it, it's definitely still usable as like a media device. Just don't expect it to run like the latest games or anything like that. Uh, as for the downgrade process itself, I didn't really find it that uh difficult um i wanted to make a tutorial on it but since i had since i already downgraded this tablet um that would mean i have to update it again and then downgrade again so it's kind of a hassle i already have like apps downloaded on here and everything so yeah but i'll link the videos that i used uh, in the description below if you guys wanted to downgrade it yourself and just a side note, um, I'd recommend you guys watching, like, some of the more recent videos. 
because uh, s some of the methods from like 2014 and 15, uh, they're a little bit outdated. Because like for mine, I ended up having to actually get um, code from Android Studio off, -stacker, uh, off Stack Overflow. So yeah, j just be cautious of that. If you're running like a version of Android Studio that's 26 or higher, like it won't work. You're going to have to you're going to have to find the find the find the folder in like a Stack Overflow website. I can also like link the website that I use for Stack Overflow in the description. But um yeah. Aside from that, uh I also wanted to mention that if you guys want, you guys should consider using this. It's called a Via browser essentially it's like a light browser um it uses up like less data requires less uh processor performance um it's basically for those like older devices right with crappier specs like it pretty much still can do everything you want it to like if i went onto youtube right it would still load in everything it's just a bit faster than chrome especially when you're using like a nine-year-old device like this one but uh, yeah, just want to make like an update video comparing the two Android versions. Um, like I said, KitKat would definitely still be usable in 2021, especially if you have a Nexus 7. I recommend you guys uh, downgrading if you find Lollipop too slow. But um, anyways, that's the video and thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next upload. Okay, everyone. So um, I managed to downgrade... Uh, Fuck. Hey everyone, so uh, I managed to downgrade. Bro! Hey everyone, so uh, I managed to down. Oh, fuck.